conventions around the world may not be taking place this year, but that's not stopping Comic Con, which is hosting the Comic Con at Home event. And of course, CBS are beaming down Star Trek. Hey everyone, my name is Captain Jack and welcome to Trek Central. The Star Trek Universe panel has finally been announced for Comic Con at Home, giving us a forward look at what we might see at the panel. Last year we got some great in-depth look at the current state of Star Trek shows, and it looks like this year is going to be no different. Apart from it's going to be a virtual event this time, so kind of different. Let's beam down and see what's been announced and what we can expect. First up, the Star Trek Universe brand has been updated with a brand new logo for this panel. It appears all Star Trek social media accounts have been updated with this, and I must say, it looks rather nice. I kind of like the design, kind of fits what we're going for to be honest. Reminds me of a motion picture poster from quite some time ago. The new Star Trek Universe logo is a beaming down Delta, in the three division colours of gold, blue and red. Personally, we really love this logo and look forward to the continuing enterprises within the Star Trek universe. Okay, so kicking off the first day at Comic Con at home on Thursday, July 23rd at 10am PT is the Star Trek Universe panel, going from Star Trek Discovery to Lower Decks and of course Picard. Oh, and there's a bit of Strange New Worlds chucked in there as well. Starting off with a small welcome and overview from executive producers of the current lineup of Star Trek, Alex Kurtzman and Heather Caden, it'll be moderated by Deadline's Dominic Patton. He'll be moderating the entire panel. Maybe Alex Kurtzman will drop some announcements during this opening bit, but we'll kind of have to wait and see. Typically they don't announce these things right now, as we'd already know what the surprises are, so we're going to have to play it by ear up until that point. But as with most years go, they usually do announce something, or give us a little bit of a tease. What is fascinating is that after this little quick segment, we'll be getting a virtual table read of the first act of Such Sweet Sorrow Part 2, which was the final episode of Star Trek Discovery Season 2 with Michael Burnham and the rest of the crew. This means that not only are we having the entirety of the Star Trek Discovery cast present, but also the Enterprise crew as well, with Anson Mount, Rebecca Romain and Ethan Peck. Also present will be the Discovery showrunner Michelle Paradise and director of this episode Olatunde Usuname. This will be the first panel event that the Strange New Worlds cast will be on where they can actually admit they are a part of a new Star Trek show with the USS Enterprise, so we're definitely looking forward to that and if anything's going to be dropped about that show. Now following the table read will be a Q&A with all these stars, which I'm sure will give us some great information not only on Discovery Season 3, but also on the continuing mission of the Enterprise in Strange New Worlds. Before I do continue on, the showrunner Michelle Paradise of Star Trek Discovery Season 3 did put out a tweet following this news announcement where she says the following. Lots of cool stuff from all of these shows, hope you can join, and for those of you waiting for Discovery Season 3, know that our incredible team is working non-stop to bring it to you as soon as possible. It's taking a bit longer these days, but it's worth the wait. Certainly some good news for those who are looking forward to Discovery Season 3, I know I am and I can't wait to see more of it. Maybe we might get a new trailer of this event, I don't know, we'll have to see. Then we delve into the next iteration of Star Trek, with Lower Decks, the latest Star Trek animated series since Star Trek the Animated Series in 1973. We'll get a look at the extended clip being shown off from this episode, which we here at Trek Central are massively looking forward to. Lower Decks will premiere on August 6th, so getting a look at the show before the premiere will be great. We haven't actually had a trailer for this show yet, so it's going to be nice to see some of the animation in action. We've recently got some Lower Decks news, including our first look at the Californian class USS Cerritos, which we covered in a previous video. So if you've not seen this news, a link to that video is on screen now, and you can also click it in the description below. The panel for Lower Decks will be moderated by the creator and showrunner of the show, Mike McGann, with every major voice actor of the show. From the Lower Decks crew with Ensign Beckett Marina, voiced by Tony Newsom, Ensign Brad Boimler, voiced by Jack Quaid, Ensign Tendi, voiced by Noah Wells, and Ensign Rutherford, voiced by Eugene Cordero. As well as the ship's bridge crew, including Captain Carl Freeman, voiced by Dawn Lewis, Commander Jack Ransom, voiced by Jerry O'Connell, the Bajoran Lieutenant Shax, voiced by Fred Tatasquare, and the Katean Doctor Tiana, voiced by Gillian Vigman. At last year's Lower Decks panel, we were also informed of an official Star Trek podcast hosted by Tawny Newsom, which now that Lower Decks is finally coming out, hopefully we might learn more about this podcast from this year's Star Trek Universe panel. And finally, continuing the last year's Star Trek Picard epic panel at Comic Con, we'll have all the stars of the series returning for a look back at Season 1 of the series, and looking forward to what might be ahead for the crew of La Serena in Season 2 of Picard. Cast members scheduled to appear include Sir Patrick Stewart, Alison Pill, Issa Briones, Evan Evagora, Michelle Hurd, and Santiago Cabrera, along with special guest stars Brent Spiner, Jonathan Delarco, Jonathan Frakes, Jerry Ryan, and Marina Sirtis. We learned a lot about Star Trek Picard at last year's panel, 
so hopefully we might be able to find out more about what, what we're heading into with Star Trek Picard Season 2. And if not, then I'm sure a panel will be a lot of fun, as any panel of Brent Spiner and John F. Rakes is usually a hilarious one. Before we do end off, Deadline did mention that Season 2 will feature Jerry Ryan as a returning character. This could potentially mean a hint towards the fact she's going to be a main character for the Season 2 entry of Star Trek Picard. The ending of Season 1 certainly hinted towards something going on there, so I personally cannot wait to see to that. The Comic Con at Home panels will be streamed on the event's YouTube page, so finally everyone gets front row seats accessible to all the panels. So there we have it, that's everything we currently know about what Star Trek will be bringing to Comic Con at Home later in July. Are there any surprises and announcements you'd love to hear? Let us know in the comments section below. If I had to say a personal wish list, I really want a new Star Trek Discovery trailer. I really want to see what's going on in that. But either way, I'm excited to see Lower Decks in action for the first time ever, especially as the series is only, well actually less than a month away now. Of course, if you want to keep up to date with all the latest news coming from the Star Trek Universe panel of the day, and of course any Star Trek news in general, make sure to subscribe to us on YouTube here, and you can also follow our social media, Twitter, Instagram and Facebook. You can also join our community Discord server where you can talk with like-minded people about Star Trek. We'll of course be reporting live on the day from the Star Trek Universe panel, so be sure to follow our Twitter and social media pages to tune into that to never miss an update. For now, I've been Captain Jack, thanks for watching, and of course, we'll see you next time. Goodbye.